So who can tell me what the three parts of a percent problem are? Rate, base, and park. Rate, base, and park. Who can tell me? <laughs> <laughs> the formula. If you know the part and the rate, what's the formula for finding the base? Part you do by the rate. Good. <coughs> if you know the part and the rate, tell me the formula for finding the base. Part and rate equals base to rate. Right. If you know the rate and the base, how do you find the part? Rate times rate times base. Good. So, I don't know if you know this, or if you just said it, or it was just so fresh in your mind. <laughs> but, anytime you have the part, what are you doing? Anytime you don't have the part, what are you doing? That's an easy way to remember it, isn't it? So if you have the part, you're dividing it by the other thing you have. At that point, it doesn't really matter what it is. Right? If you don't have the part, then you're not dividing. You're multiplying. If you have the part, you're dividing it. The part is always divided by either the rate or divided by the part. If you do not have the part, you're multiplying. Good. Let's keep it going. Page 16. 600 is 27% of what number, Patricia? 2,222. 2,222, she says. 600 is 27% of what number? And Patricia says... 2,222. So what two pieces did you have there, Patricia? I had the part and the rate. Okay, so which one is the part? Um, the 600. Okay, and then I divide the part by? The rate. The rate, the rate which is? 0.27. Beautiful. Did everybody catch that? The rate is not 27. It's 27 percent. That 27% has to be converted to 0.27 by moving the decimal over two spaces to the left. To convert a percent to a decimal, move it two spaces to the left. 600 divided by 27. Thank you. 0.27 is 2,221. I don't know how you got that too. I'm just no, kidding. That's what I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. <laughs>